It is a dark age. A bloody age. An age of war. The gods are cruel, and we are their playthings. But this is no game. It is ceaseless war, with the old world its prize. Many seek the path to victory, but only one can stand glorious over all. From the Badlands come the Orcs and Goblins, a green tide of brutal creatures that must be stopped. In Sylvania, the dead rise again. The Vampire Counts march forth. The mighty Dwarf Kingdoms, long thought diminished, are resurgent under their High King. And at the Old World's heart stands the Empire. Karl Franz must prove worthy of the Warhammer. Then there is chaos. Its corrupting, changing taint. Despoils all before it. Only the strongest will endure. War is upon us. It is unending. For the viewers, by Touch here, coming at you with the brand new Let's Play series of Total War Warhammer. And this game I just got not that long ago from a buddy of mine by the name of You Can't See Me Gamer. I'll leave a link to his channel in the description down below. Uh, he does a lot of cool, like, survival sandbox games, kind of some similar games to me. And uh, he had an extra copy of this game laying around, and he wanted me to check it out and have a blast with it, considering I haven't had it yet. Um, I have been purposely not watching uh, any Let's Play of the campaigns. I've watched some people do scrimmage battles. That's about it. But I have not actually seen the campaign itself. Um, I know another uh, YouTuber friend of mine over at the Dreamlands. He's did an Elven playthrough. So I think for this one, to kind of up one him. And yet, yeah, sorry, buddy. I'm going to have to go with the Dwarves on this one. Um, so watching the cinematic opener yeah big guns dwarves everything right there that's what we're going for so um let's take a look at what directions we actually do have a chance to look at so um it looks like my buddy actually did this one right here so it looks like uh you have to go buy it well i don't have it so i'm sorry i'm not gonna do it um these are the five factions to choose from i honestly cannot tell the difference between these two where the vampire counts which is undead and then isn't this kind of the same? I could be wrong. They do raise the undead. Am I, am I wrong? I know I don't have any chaos because that's the DLC. Then we have the green skins, which are the orcs and goblins coming from the wasteland as you saw in the opening little cinematic trailer. Then we have the heart of the empire, the humans, Sigmar, uh, however you want to go and buy. Um, these are the humans. They have lots of engineering. They have steam tanks. They have armored cavalry. You know, what you think the humans would have from the Warhammer fantasy tabletop game. And I have to say, um, as a player that used to play a lot of uh, the tabletop of Warhammer 40k, you know, I knew a little bit of the fantasy game. And what I'm seeing so far, it literally looks like the models have come to life. And I'm loving it so far. Now we have the last, but not least. And it says it's easy, but... I don't know. I don't know. I just wanted to play the dwarves because, you know, freaking everything about it, all their weapons, it's awesome. So I'm going to go with dwarves for this time through. 
Um, this series goes very, very well, which I really expect it to do. Uh, we'll come back and play as one of the other factions. And when we get to the end of this one, I will do a vote. And you guys can choose what faction you'd like to see next. But yeah, I mean, look at this. Cannons. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, yeah. Everything about this just says awesome. All right. So we're going to play as the dwarves. So let's get this part started. Um, also, let me know in the comment section down below uh, if the sound is okay. You know, um, I'm, tr I'm testing out the sound for this first video. So this video is probably not going to be as long as normal ones. I'm going to stick to 30-minute videos. Actually, I'm just going to stick to 30-minute videos. I just want to kind of see if the sound's really good because recording it is one thing, but when it actually comes to the editing process, it's kind of hard to fix it. So I, I, I want to know if it's too loud, too quiet. The slayer in me seeks death. Huh. You know who I am. In, uh, invasion chance is a new way of saying reinforcements range. Hmm. And call upon the, uh, the ancient gods. Hmm. Reed, Pretty cool. Buildings. Long beards and hammer units. Unit experience plus one for hammer unit recruits. Ooh. I must I don't know. My slayer oath. I am the Let's just go with this guy because it looks like he was the one from the uh, opening, uh, opening bit from the cinematic. Because I've already tested it out, make sure everything works, and this is the guy you see. So, again, so let's just go with this one. Oh well, let's do it. the storms gather again it presents a chance for the brave to bring about an age of reckoning I come to the dwarf high king as a herald of such times and so I find myself at the king's right hand presence is timely, but dire news comes from the south. Greenskins flock to the banner of a cruel war boss. Now, my liege, Thorgrim Grudgebearer, leads a mighty throng from Karazakarak, smashing aside any foes that block our path. Bearer desires to return the Taraz Angkor to its former glory. Then he must rid his lands of vile greenskins. Those gathering within the shadows of Everpeak are a good start. <laughs> this is so cool. <laughs> I was trying to be quiet during that cinematic, but that was just too cool. I had to, I, you know, it's hard to keep it in. Kron, our great book of grudges is filled with such green skin atrocities. Bring hammer and axe. Show these irks and grow me. No mercy. All right, here we go. 
Your forces begin their attack, my lord. See for yourself. So I am using one mod for this, and that's just so I can zoom in really close. It's a better camera mod. It allows me to zoom in real close and just look at all this detail. Wow, this is so cool. This is really, really cool. I love all this work. I love the models in this game. All right, let's hit K again. Be sure to join the fight yourself. Okay, cool. I love how it makes me go over there. My army's right here. Run. Get up close. Um, so, yeah, that's the only mod I'm using. And um, I'm also going to cut out a lot of the loading screens if they take a long time. It just... Some of them could take like, you know, three, five minutes. They take quite a while, so I'm going to skip those. So that way you guys don't have to. You guys can just watch the fun bits. All right. So, okay, here we go. Charge! Nothing scarier than an army of little dwarves. Freaking axes chasing after you. Look at this. So cool. Attack. So cool. You can definitely get a lot of cool cinematic pictures uh, with this game. You know, they're just there's such beautiful models and the way everything looks. Getting their flank over here. So. We're flanking them. The thing you want to do is, yeah, I know, uh, like, right, it's, it's Luton right there. All right. So, like any other Empire War game, uh, when it goes into melee like this, if you surround the enemy, they the will to fight diminishes. I mean, look at that. It's dropped real quick. And I hope you guys don't notice that where it's slightly gets, it mutes for a second. I have no idea what that is, and there's nothing I can really do about it, so I do apologize for that. So, one of the groups just ran. Awesome. The enemy begin to crumble. They run from the battle. All right. Drain the Be sure to take charge of the forces you control, sir. Effective command of your army is a skill worth mastering. We are relentless! Quarrelers! Right now, I think everybody's doing just what they need to be. Let's get in there and take a look. Yeah, we have the orcs surrounded. Yep, got it. Just like any other good Total War game, keep your archers in the back. Given and am I seeing goblins with? Whoa! Seeing goblins flying through the air. Now that's funny. No. Go after them. Surround them and take them. They might be bigger than us, but they surely fall a lot faster. <laughs> oh, that doesn't make any sense. Anyway, just, just kill them all. They're running. All right, cool. We'll see with the attack. Your presence can sway the battle, sir. Your words and actions can inspire the troops before you. Use your influence and abilities. Got this. For the ancestors. 
All right, let's get in there. Get around behind them. Let's flank them on both sides here, boys. Flank them, flank them, flank them, kill them. Right, move forward. Move forward. Alright, we got this. Their, their war bosses are going to go down real quick. Our artillery and archers are really putting down the pain. Alright, let's bring our archers up. Skins run for their mountain, my king, Bloodbearer. The battlefield is secure. Did we win? Oh, we won. Cool. <laughs> well, that was awesome. So, yeah, the, the orcs might be really, you know, powerful, but their leadership drops real quickly. Your sacred peak is secure, King Bloodbearer. The mountains rumble to the sound of your armies marching. Yet the threat to your kind has scarcely diminished. All right. So again, like I said, I'm gonna cut out these little cut uh, loading screens. So, oh, so this is the map, huh? Woo, looks bigger than I thought it would be. Looks like there's a lot. I mean, if we, woo, you're you're kidding me. I have to conquer all this. Seriously? Holy crap, Ola. Um, yeah, this is going to be a very long series, but it's going to be a very f fun one. <laughs> All right. The lands around here remain infested with filthy green skin scum. See for yourself. All right, let's take a look at these guys. The green skins of the bloody spears continue to defile your most sacred monuments. They must be expelled from these mountains with all haste. No dwarf king should tolerate such a presence so close to Everpeak. Oh, that's my mouse moving. All right, so orcs literally on our doorstep. Okay. Oh, is that an eagle? Is that an eagle? Is that an eagle? No, that's a griffin. Okay. Look like the eagles are coming. The eagles are no, no. Anybody get that? I hope so. Or else I'm gonna feel really old. All right. Who are these guys? The dwarfs of Barakva look kindly upon your cause, sire. With sufficient persuasion, they would likely join your struggle against the Greenskins. All right. Cool. The scabby eye tribe of Greenskins maintain their hostilities against you from their feeble camps upon the plains. Be sure to watch their movements carefully. Alright, so we got po potential allies here. We have orcs here and orcs here. It looks like we're going to be fighting a war against Greenskins for a while. And if we see this, this group right here, they're also... Wow. That's a lot. I don't know if we're going to be able to go through kill them all at the same time I don't know I'm excited to see what's gonna happen all right so vengeance oh. must be the answer we're talking the bloody spears cannot be allowed to regroup after their defeat press forward and maintain the offensive well hold your Brit horses there buddy I want to take a look at my town uh, can I look at my town Good. Grimnir's axe first. Good. The enemy will no hmm. doubt have picked up your movements. They will be frantically barricading their hovels in preparation for your arrival. More of your proud kin stand ready to take up arms against the invaders, my lord. Recruit cool. them, and they will be ready to fight in the battles that are to come. All right, can we like look at our civilization or something, please? Where? 
Oh, where? Send me to vengeance. Oh, right there. Okay, cool. I was actually hoping to click on the town and actually look at it and do the upgrades and stuff. Guess not. Alright, so what else can we get? Miners? Seriously? And dwarf warriors. So I'm guessing this is. Yeah, that's upkeep. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> what? Oh man, I don't have it yet. I need a gun. Oh, if I get gunsmith, I'm getting guns. But it looks like you can have like guys throwing blast char They're throwing grenades. God, I love dwarves. So All right. let's uh let's get some more dwarf warriors, I guess. Yeah, let's just go right for the dwarf warriors. Let's get two of them. Alright. So we need to be over here. Uh let's uh how do we in turn? How do we in turn? How do we end the turn? Okay, I, I get it's where you want me to go. Banners. Let's march. Retake the realms. The recruits will make first rate warriors, I'm sure. For now, Ooh. the throng will remain in place. I don't know what I hit. Okay. Let's also look at improving your infrastructure right. at home. Get used to things. Operations will repay itself on the battlefields ahead. All right, now we can build stuff. Okay, here we go. So, ahead. Settlements and contain buildings that provide benefits. Settlements, buildings, and manage. Okay, this thing right here. All this. Which appears when the settlement is selected. Providence oh, panel is settlement within the province. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. Oh, yeah. Spar chamber. Okay, okay, what's spar chamber do? Dwarf warriors. Uh, dwarf warriors. Great weapons requires building armory. Which I'm guessing we don't have it yet. Miners, miners with blast charges. Requires gun forge. Can we not get anything? Upgraded training facilities will allow you to better train the Dowie to fight. Sire. Oh, okay. Excellent. I won't have enough. Oh, Scout I guess I do. Will be oh, that, okay. That's how much we're getting. That's how much we have. Okay, got it. Got it. Thanks. Really? Hmm. You must seek ways to further your methods of war if you are to drive the orc filth from the mountains. Put the finest minds from the guilds to work on improving your practices and knowledge. Hang on there. Okay, let's take a look at technologies. Okay, here's where the fun begins. Holy crap. Let me miss <laughs> Yes, we're dwarves. We like to have the boomsticks, okay? And beer. Lots of beer. Because remember, they can't shoot straight unless we had a pint. Okay. Uh, there you were. Dwarf Society, Guilds, and Counters, Family, and Honor is prize. Public order plus one. That would be nice to have. I don't think we need to worry about public order quite yet. Because I know when public order goes down too much you'll start getting revolts and people will revolt against you so beer would be the best thing to keep everybody happy but you know gather the thrones. once is given warm messages quickly passes down from the ranks from the king lords okay recruitment cost minus five percent for dwarf warriors and miners that could be useful at the point because uh, warriors are going to be pretty much what's going to be my main front of my army right at the moment. And we would if we lose any, we're going to want to re uh, get them back quickly. Thunderers, that's the that's the shooter guys. All right. Uh, realm guides send a suitable and make settlements. Do hmm. Income from settlement plus 5%. Well, we are the dwarves. We like money. 
So it's, what do we want to grab here? Hmm. I really want to go for the guns. I really want to go for the guns, but I have a feeling that we're going to want money or order first. But honestly, I am not sure in which way I should go. Uh, but I, you know, I'll leave it in the comment section down below. What should I go with? Should I go for the money? Should I go for the honor or public order? Should I go for less uh, recruitment cost? Or for, uh, should I just go right for the boomsticks? Uh, that reduces... Well, actually, if you think about it, that just reduces the amount what it takes to recruit them. I can't even get them yet. So we're going to cancel that one out. So it's either this, this, or this. Do I really want to vote on that? Uh, no, you know, I'm, I'm sorry. We're just going to go straight for the money and continue on. Because uh, money, right now, I think it'd be the overall what we want to go for. And then go for more public order once we get, probably get a second town up and running. But not quite yet. Next, we're probably going to go for that. Good. In time, the law they will gain will surely aid your cause. All right. I know your patience wears thin, my king, Yes. But you must temper the need for vengeance with further intelligence of the Groby's actions. There is nothing more to do for now. There is a lot of factions. Holy crap. Rapula. Um, he's coming closer. More He's... green skins muster in the mountain pass to the east. Attack now while they remain vulnerable. Okay. Well, we get a lot of money. We do want money. Uh, okay. You know what? Let's do it. Misdeeds committed against your kind are recorded in the venerable book of grudges, the Damas Kron. Once documented, no transgression should remain unpunished, my king. All right, so it actually looks like we have some trebuchets of some kind and, and, and some crossbowmen. So that's nice. I like that. So we're going to engage these guys. Set this up. Battle is upon us. Study your options carefully. The enemy are close. We Blood are going to fight spilled. this one. If we ever run to a fight where it's like a sliver, it's really, you know, there's no way the AI can win, we'll auto resolve. But uh, for this one. Even though it's, we definitely could win by auto resolve, I'm gonna fight it just for the fact that I'm gonna fight it. All right, here your we soldiers go. Soldiers are ready to deploy for battle, my lord. They await your orders. All right. So we are definitely gonna redeploy some things. Uh. All right, so that's where they are. Uh, I definitely want to get the Chebuchet in there quickly. Well, not in there quickly, but I want him firing. So that's actually a good spot he is in. Let's get, get you guys over here. For the ancestor gods. There, and you guys going up front. And you're going to stay, because you're the my vanguard, you're going to stay right with my leader and the miners. I can actually go that close? Seriously? Cool. Um, let's do this. Oh, wait, seriously? The miners can go up close, but these can't. Okay, um. Then where do I want to put the miners? Uh, I want to put. I want to keep them back. All right, cool. Let's begin. Okay, you Your guys. weapons may prove decisive in the coming battle, Commander. Bring them to Oh, you know they are. The enemy from afar, but be sure to protect them. As well. Yep. I am going to keep the miners in reserve to do the attacking. Or not to the attacking. Sorry. Trying to do multiple things. My miners are going to stay back and protect the trebuchets. Vanguards go up. Archers prepare to fire. Warriors. 
for bringing the miners in. All right, so this is definitely going in our favor. It's not too bad. Have our vanguard up in the fight. Let's bring our hero up to rally our men. I can click on him. Get in there, boys. The miners in there to start attacking those guys. Yeah, you guys just. Oh, they're getting a wall to hurt. They're fine. Yeah, you better run. Miners, get out of there for a second. I need you guys to swoop around, take out their archers. All right, get over there and attack those guys for me, please. All right, let's get in there and take a look. What's going on? Definitely want more of these guys. Let's look at that. We, these guys are very effective. Look at that. Bah, 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 bah. Shooting off those crossbows. All right, let's end the battle right here. I don't know if I want to save the replay. I don't think I need to save the replay. I'm recording it. <laughs> All right. Victory is yours, my lord. But what about Man. the fate of those captured in battle? Kill them all. It can be beneficial to hold them, but sometimes leniency or brutality can be worth more. Get more to treasury. Yeah. Execute them all. What? Those that serve your cause gain experience over time, my lord. Be sure to guide their development to your advantage. The Grubi maintain one of their slum camps beneath the Pillars of Grumni. A sin that cannot remain in the Damascron any longer. The Pillars must be returned to Dwarfen hands. Physical resistance, 15%. <laughs> nice. Well, that's going to be the end of this episode. I would like to thank everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I am going to cut out all the um, loading screens. So it's I'm recording for about almost 50 minutes. So you guys are probably not going to see that long. Hopefully. I mean, those loading screens are very long. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. If you guys have any comments, suggestions, feedback about this series, or if you guys just want to talk about it or anything like that, or if you have any tips of what I should do or what I should not do, let me know in the comment section down below. And as always, I will see you guys in the next episode. Take care, guys. And remember, have a wonderful day.